Now let's take a look at another grafting technique. It's a very successful procedure and it's easy to learn. It's especially good on small trees which are too small to inlay graft. The four flap graft is most successful when the rootstock and the graft stick are about the same diameter. You get the best fit when the trunk is slightly larger than the scion. Choose a stock tree with a trunk or lateral limb between one half inch and one inch in diameter. Cut straight across the trunk or limb with sharp pruning shears at the point you want your graft. Roll a rubber band onto the wood two or three inches below the cut. If possible, leave one or two side branches below the grafting point. This helps keep the tree vigorous, protects it from sun scald, and keeps the graft from becoming too long and whip-like and breaking off. If cattle are grazing near the trees, make your graft seven to eight feet above the ground. Otherwise, place the grafts at a comfortable working height. Moving down from your horizontal cut, make four vertical cuts about one and a half inches long. Space them evenly around the trunk and make sure to penetrate the bark down into the wood. To do this, you can use either a grafting knife or a Grantham grafting tool. Here is how it looks using the grafting tool. Now find a straight, smooth graft stick, which is about the same diameter as the rootstock. It should have at least one strong bud. Use a sharp knife to cut four slices from the graft stick, cutting vertically on all four sides. Start the cut about one and a half inches from the bottom and move the knife away from you, holding the knife in a closed fist. These cuts should be made through the bark into the wood. If it's done right, the end view will be square but don't remove all the bark. Leave four thin slivers of bark on the corners as you see here. Now moving to the rootstock, pull the four flaps of bark down an inch and a half to the rubber band. Cut off the exposed wood and be careful not to damage the four flaps. Sit the graft stick upright on the rootstock. Pull the four bark flaps on the stock up to cover the four cut surfaces on the graft stick. If the graft stick cut surfaces are too long, cut the end off the graft stick slightly so the bark flaps will cover the cuts. Roll the rubber band up onto the flaps to hold the graft stick in place. Now you have both hands free to wrap the graft. Wrap the flap area with floral, budding, or flagging tape, or some other material that will stretch as the graft grows. Do not use masking tape or electrical tape since they don't stretch effectively and they can girdle the graft as it grows. Don't let the bark flaps twist while you're wrapping them. It's important that the bark strips, forming the corners on the graft stick, stay aligned with the spaces between the bark flaps on the rootstock. Now cover the taped area with a piece of aluminum foil. This reflects sunlight and keeps the graft cooler. Cut the corner off a polyethylene bag and carefully slip it down over the graft with the graft stick extending through the hole. Be careful not to knock the buds off the graft stick while you're slipping on the bag.
tie the cut corner of the bag to the graft stick just above the aluminum foil, making sure not to leave wood exposed inside the bag. Your ties can be made with any material that will stretch, such as plastic budding tape or rubber bands. Coat the graft stick's tip with a protectant like white glue, orange shellac, or tree pruning paint. This keeps it from drying out. The graft should begin growing in three to four weeks. The new shoots should be six inches long, four to six weeks after the graft has taken. At this point, you can remove all the ties, the foil, and the polyethylene bag. Make sure to keep vegetative growth on the rootstock in control. Many new branches will appear below the graft, but don't let them grow taller than the graft. Pinch prune the growing tips of the rootstock shoots several times during the growing season. Removing the tips will make the rootstock look trashy or bushy, but it will help the tree develop and increase its overall diameter, which reduces the chance of blowouts. After a couple of years, when the graft is strong, remove all the branches below the graft. 